What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I am going to be showing you a ship that I have built and uh, this is this is it. It is a cargo ship um, medieval base. It has no cannons, no guns on it. Basically this I like to build my ships before the cannon and all that stuff. Um, I was going to make a tutorial of this. Most of you know that I was going to make this long freaking tutorial and I have actually done quite like as far as the tutorial is concerned I've done all these takes but it's it's gonna be so long guys and it's so stressful literally I was recording all morning all I woke up at 10 and I recorded till 4 p.m. and finally I'm just like you know what we're not even half done yet like I got to about this portion here about up about to here and it took me that long um, of recording but then it was like sporadic and you know I had to do stuff in between and stuff but anyway Oh, tutorials. Anyway, I have all the takes. If you guys absolutely want to see a tutorial on this, I need to see at least 30 people saying that they want to see a block-by-block -block tutorial of this. And um, I need to... Um, what was it? 30, 30, 30, at least 30 people saying they want that. Um, it's going to be... It would be a freaking long video. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you how to get to this, but I'm not going to do it block-by-block. -block. It's going to be just very short. Um, anyway, let me turn this off turn R off there we go so now we're just flying normally so this is uh, what I have built um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a disclaimer out there I do not claim to be in any way shape or form a great ship builder I am an average I will admit that um, I'm above I'm about average about above average something like that um, but I do not consider myself along the lines of say Victor or Roll uh, both of those are on the server also Destructiva very good ship builders they've been doing it for a long time so um, they definitely have, you know, they definitely know what they're doing. Um, and I learned a lot of techniques that I use to build this ship from them. So uh, definitely credit goes to them for a lot of things for that. So uh, thank you guys if you do watch this video. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is what I have built. It's a cargo vessel and I have the uh, a dragon head at the front. Some people don't like that, but I really wanted that up on the front. And um, yeah, so that's what I have. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this ship. So um, let me just give you sort of like a tour through what's on the inside. So I don't have any interior done on the ship yet, but uh, eventually I'll have that done. Uh, but this is actually on my sea bridge build. Sea bridge is that way um, on the island. And but anyway, this is the captain's cabin, and then you would come out here onto the uh, the deck, and you can walk around out here and enjoy the scenery and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, this is the captain's cabin. Excuse me, the topmost um, the topmost deck, and then you come down here, and this is where the mess hall would be. This is where like a big table would be down the middle, and a bunch of chairs on the side, and that's where they would eat, drink, and be merry. And then maybe like a little like um, no, not here. I don't know what could be back here. Maybe a little serving area, because um, where they would cook the food would actually be at the bottom of this down there. And I'm going to show you how to get down there soon. But uh, yeah, let's go down there actually. Um, so this is another little portion here. Maybe a little bit of storage can be in here and stuff. Um, then we go down the stairs and we have, this is actually what hoists the anchor up. And actually the anchor is on the side right here. So the anchor goes right here on the side, just like that. And um, they would pull it up somehow through using the rigging. They would have, they would put ropes around it. They would hook it while it's like almost in the water and stuff. And then they would hoist it up here and then they would tie it to the side. I couldn't figure out a better way of doing it other than using nets. So that's what I did there. So yeah, that down here is what hoists the anchor up. Um, and anyway, this is the, the deck here. Uh, we have a little cabin here. I don't know what this would be, but maybe like a little storage room. Um, and then we have this, this goes over the middle portion. And then you have another cabin over here. This is where everyone would sleep like all the you know the people that would be on the ship that would all sleep in this area and then um, this is a armory where they would all you know get their weapons if you know they had to protect the ship but this is a very fast cargo ship but anyway this is all where the cargo would be and um, they have cobble down here when you're building a ship um, make sure you always have you know cobble at the bottom because the cobble is what keeps the ship from tipping over because uh, it stays in the middle it's kind of like sand at the bottom of like one of those like dolls that you 
put on the ground and then it's like circular at the bottom and it keeps the doll from tipping or whatever. I forget, you know, there's, there's other examples too. But uh, anyway, another thing is ribs. You'll see that I have ribs on the ship and I learned this again, another technique from Roll that is a really cool idea. So yeah, um, yeah, definitely keep all that in mind and then you can go right back up through here to the top and that takes you right back out to here. And yeah, this is uh, the ship, and I haven't come up with a name for it, so if you guys want to list out some names that I can put on it, maybe I'll put the name right, I don't know, somewhere. It would probably be down here somewhere, like right here, something like that, or I'll destroy that, that right there and put it right there. Um, but anyway, if you guys have some cool names, definitely list them up, and uh, maybe I'll pick one of your names. And uh, yeah, so anyway, that is the ship here. And now we're going to go see how we build it. So let's go to my world. And now this is my world. And this is actually where I had built it because I had originally intended to do this block by block tutorial. And uh, let me actually show you. the I had gotten, let me go over here. I had gotten that far before I kind of gave up. I was just, oh my goodness. I was getting so messed up with the sails because there's really nothing connecting them. It just was like all air and I was so tired of that. So um, anyway, I have like, an hour and a half worth of takes to get to that point and then I still have I got up to here this was the layer I was working on and I still have all of that to do if we were to make a block by block tutorial so um, yeah it's probably not worth it um, but anyway I'm just gonna show you because I, I don't know anyone that would want to spend that long watching the video but anyway we're gonna speed five and I'm going to start um, working on showing you how to get to that point that I did so this is what I started with. Um, first of all, you start with a skeleton stage. Now, this, the shape of boat that I ch chose this time is a banana boat shape. That's what I call it, because it looks like a banana, right? You know, that's the uh, the peel, and then you come in to the end, that's where the stem is. Um, but anyway, it's a banana boat. That's what I call it. And uh, what you do is you try to build it so that it looks like it comes one out. There, there, and you make it so it's like thicker towards the front, and then sort of sleeks off and sleeks off in the back, so that the water just kind of like parts and then comes right back together, and just like feels like the ship could just like slide to the water, and that's something that's important when you're building a ship. And also, you want a nice big keel. Uh, that's what this is called. Uh, this is what actually slices to the water initially, and it also connects to the rudder here. Um, again, another important part of the ship, um, of course, because there's so many important parts of the ship. Um, you know, a ship is like, without one thing, the ship is useless. You know, you got to have everything working together. And that's actually a haul that uh, Victor had made, and he wanted to show me just sort of technique that he used there. But anyway, that doesn't matter. That's not, that's not what we're working on right now. Um, but anyway, this is uh, the skeletal stage. And then what you do is you go to the fill-in stage, and that's what this is. You just make it all jungle wood, and you just fill it all in. And then you start shaping it up with stairs and slabs and stuff. You can kind of look around, and you see what you can do to sort of make it more curved and more, uh, you know, more sleek looking. And also you decide the water level. However, um, on my final take, the water level actually got moved down to there. So that is a... Um, uh, that's that's okay. I mean, it works well. Uh, it definitely works well for the ship that um, I used, and it's still above. It's four above sea level. Um, so yeah, it it works well. And then you have that nice thick part down here that uh, runs through the water, so it works real well. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm back. I just turned the AC off because I know that's a really something that's really annoying in the background, especially in a video. So, um, but anyway, yeah, the water level was moved down to there, and. Um, yeah, it keeps it nice and um, that this way you decide you can decide you know how high your ship will sit in the water, and then that also determines the color stage, which is over here. So technically, I had init initially planned that this bl the dark oak would be like the bottom half of it would be the water line, but it actually kind of works better that the water line is up here is there with the barnacles and the jungle wood. So I'm actually kind of glad I did that. But um, anyway, the water level is now here. And that's what uh, is different. So I basically just colored the keel. I made the keel all black, um, all dark oak, and I did also did that black line around it. And it adds like a really cool color. Um, this is like one good use for dark oak. I have a hard time using dark oak because I just I don't know. I just it's hard to use, hard to use. But uh, for ships, it looks good. I agree with that. 
Um, but anyway, then I used oak for the top and it makes it look pretty good. And then I went over here, so that, like after color, skeletal, fill in, color. Now this is the deck stage and also you decide sort of the front piece here. And I decided that I wanted a dragon head because um, I want to mix like a fantasy in with the realistic and uh, it worked really well I think and I really liked I really like how it turned out so the uh, dragon head comes out here and it looks kind of fierce you know feels like it's gonna eat you alive if it comes towards you but anyway it's just a merchant vessel so it's not it's not a big vessel it's very you know it's a pretty small ship comparatively to you know how ships really were um, you know are really and then so then I decided, you know, I wanted a captain cabin up there and I wanted this. And also another cool little variation that um, Spider Year was actually working on. He was uh, helping, or he wasn't helping, but um, like once I actually got to that stage, he I had him come over and give me some ideas and he saw that stage and he really wanted to work off of it. So this is another cool idea you, you could do with it is you could make it so that it's just like that. And so it's not so many decks, like it doesn't like co up somewhere. And also that makes it so that this, deck is actually bigger and feels you know like you could fit more in there and such so anyway you could do that as well there's so many things you could do see if you just work from this stage here or this stage here I'm sorry um, you can do so much with this like so many different things uh, but this is the way that I went my personal way and I just decided that I wanted and this didn't turn out like that either but you know a lot of things changed from you know this stage to that stage uh, on the hall and everything so yeah, but I decided that I wanted three windows in the back, two up front, two up top, and one down bottom, and uh, decided I just wanted all this this part here, and it it turned out pretty nice. And uh, then you go to the detail stage. So once you decide like the basic, you know what you want, um, then you're kind of like, all right, so now we can add in the details and we can decide on what we want to go from there. And so this is what I decided. Um, you know, you decide that you wanted like the little kind of outcropping up here so you know if they were under attack they could you know have archers up front they could have archers up here now there's this ship wouldn't have a very big crew it would have like a crew of like 10 15 something like that um, but anyway maybe more than that but you know it wouldn't have a very 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 big crew so because um, you really don't need a big crew for a cargo vessel and my uh, my next ship, I would like to make more of a militaristic vessel because um, I am building, since Sea Bridge is an Imperial Island, it's going to have you know lots of um, Imperial presence. So um, anyway, I decided that I wanted this deck up here again, a lot more area to just you know to hide behind and shoot arrows from. Um, but yeah, and then that's how that turned out. So now we're going to actually head over, and also this is also the stage that I decided my deck planning. Um, decided you know this would be one deck here and then this would be the bottom deck and then once you get that in then you go to the actual finished product and this is where you add in all the detail and everything and this is where you decide on where everything goes um, now uh, you know some of these sails aren't realistic some of them are really like fanned out like that one is really bowed out um, I think this one is pretty good that one's a little weird uh, and Oh, that one's good. I like that one. I like that one, that one, but I don't like that one or that one. Um, and I like that one too. But uh, yeah, some of these are a little odd looking, but um, yeah. And also, this is another thing that you could use for rigging. As you can see, you have the floating white, or the birch fences. And that is a really cool thing that you can use for rigging. Um, you connect basically all the masts together. So you, like you see, you connect the top of this mast to the top of that mast. You go the top of this one to the top of that one, and then you, you know the top of that one to there, and then so on. Like this one connects to there, and so on and so forth. Like you try to like you just find everything that can connect, or that can connect without interfering with the sails, and you connect it. Um, and then that's pretty much how rigging works. And then another cool thing that you can use um, when you're building your ships is this. You know the rigging here. You know typically people like to like build it from str you know straight up. But really, it's supposed to be kind of like backwards, so then you can actually fit the sails in there, and it kind of curves up like that. You see how it like starts off like over here, kind of, and then it ends off over there. And so it goes slowly inwards, and then that's how I like to do it. And also, I like to put these levers here, because it feels like it connects, and also adds that extra bit of detail. And this is actually an idea that I got from Roll. So um, yeah, cheers to Roll for that. And also, I got the idea for connecting 
the riggings here from roll um but yeah what else also i got this rope thing um you see these ropes here that connect from the bottom down here all the way up again another idea i got from roll uh got a lot of ideas from roll because roll is a very talented shipbuilder he, that's what he likes to do that's his uh that's his his uh, passion per se and so um you know if it's your passion that's the best place to go find you know inspiration so anyway this is a like a sort of a middle deck again more archers can be up here shooting down and then you have the crow's nest up here this is where the guy would go land ho and looking out looking at finding land or whatever for so they can go to dock um but yeah this is the vessel and also this is the uh the Latin, Latin sale, I think that's what it's called, the Latin. Um, I don't know the purpose of the Latin sale. Um, this is actually something that Destructiva suggested that I have, and it looks really nice. I honestly think it looks really nice on the ship, um, but I do not know the purpose of it. Why is there a Latin sale? Like, what do they do with it? Because um, it's really because of the rigging. It's inside the rigging. How do you turn it or anything? I don't know. It's just kind of a weird placement in my opinion, but it looks really cool. Uh, another thing that you do for your rigging, you can put anvils down. It makes it look like it's fastened down to the deck or to the uh, where it's uh, taken. And then you can use nets. Also like over here, I use nets and rope and it really makes it look really nice. Um, another thing that I did, like you'll, you'll find this and then like the sail will come down. You're like, how the heck do I connect this portion to the boat? Well, what I did is I made a log that comes out of here and um, that's where it connects to. Now, technically, there's going to be there's supposed to be all these like um, ropes connecting this to the ship, uh, so you can just kind of fill that in. But it just looked really weird uh, how I originally had it, how all these ropes going to it. It just looked like this pile of mess. Um, so there's really no way in Minecraft that you can do it. But just imagine that there's all these ropes holding this thing like real tight to the boat, and uh, that's how that connects to there. Because if it was just like that, no ropes, that would just snap very quickly but in minecraft that's gonna be the best you can do for that um another thing is you have this for sale now you could have another sale technically uh underneath here like you could have ones connected there and then um i mean i don't know how you could do it but there could be another extra sale there for something um something or another and that could work too but i decided i just wanted one sale here and it connects there there and there up here and the rope connects up to there. So yeah, it worked well. Um, I'm trying to figure out, is there any other little methods that I found that you could work, that you could do? Um, also another thing, um, when you're building a ship, the rudder here, uh, I like to have it so that it looks like hinges, like it feels like this thing could turn. And also a really, 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 really important thing is that you have a connection to your steering wheel front to the rudder. So like this is what I have. I have, you know, the steering wheel is right above this and it goes down here. Uh, we're just gonna destroy that and we're gonna go down here. And then it goes down here and now I use command blocks. Um, you can just use iron or whatever if you can't use command blocks. And it goes across and looks just like a gear system that would go across and then goes down, down some more and then down some more. And then actually that's where it ends and then it goes like down into the rudder and that's how uh, the ship uh, steers. Very important, uh, do not forget that. And another important thing, do not forget the anchor. Anchor is important. Uh, there's many ways that you could do the anchor. Like I had some anchors that you know would come out of the ship and then the anchor would hang from kind of like one of these, um, but I didn't really know how to do that for those ships. So I just decided I just want to put a hole outside and I decided that's what I was gonna do. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's about it that I can see uh, or techniques that I can see in order to do this. Um, also for the flags, um, you notice I have like this, the flag pole goes all the way up here and it goes to the flag. So it feels like you could hoist the flag down the rope um, so that people could change the flags out or whatever if the need be. Um, I don't know what else I could help you guys with. Uh, another cool, th oh also when this thing's at dock, um, which you want, you do not want to have the sails fanned out like this. If this, if your ship is at the dock, definitely have your sails furled. So basically just destroy all the blocks underneath the first two layers. So like you can keep the first two layers, but then go ahead and like build more layers back here. Like go ahead and like make this too thick. 
all the way across and then you can like kind of like break it up make it look cooler also the sails are a mixture between um, white stained clay block of quartz and uh, white wool so it's just three different types of blocks and then that's how I got that and then I added all kinds like all along the sides of the sails and along the bottoms and stuff like I added all those ropes like all the uh, birch fences and also some ropes along the bottom so yeah it worked really really well for that so anyway um yeah block by block tutorial that did not work for me but I just wanted to give you guys some inspiration um, hopefully I don't get 30 comments saying do a block by block tutorial but um, <laughs> unless you guys are trolls but anyway this is a um, the ship that I have come up with and again if you guys have a name that I could call it go ahead and shoot me the name and then maybe I can call it that um, but yeah there's this is how what I got to and uh, I will try to do a video on each ship that I do but um, yeah these take a long time ships do take a long time and I did learn a lot from this ship like there's there's so much that you can learn when you build a ship there's so many mechanisms and things that, that is in a ship that um, just is incredible you know how did medieval engineering come up with this kind of stuff It's just crazy people are so smart um, but anyway yep this is a one two three four five six seven sail ship and it's very small or not very small but small comparatively um, but anyway you might be able to fit something like that on your plot and uh, I hope this was inspiring and I hope to hear back from you guys I hope to get plenty of comments lots of comments lots of uh, cool things or lots of cool ideas and stuff for the names etc and uh, also I hope to um, I, I, my main thing I hope this was inspiring um, that's that's my goal I want you guys to build ships you know so many people are like build ships you know show me how to build a ship and like I said skeleton stage fill in stage decide your water line color stage um, deck stage and also you know kind of do your bowels and little details here and there detail stage and then your finish stage and then you are done you have yourself a ship so yeah um, anyway I hope you guys like this video uh, if you liked it please like and if you guys want to see more please subscribe um, I you know guys you don't know how excited I am 792 subscribers last time I checked and uh, it's really it's awesome and it's just it's really cool to see the grow the growth that is happening like just in the past past few days you know or not past like past week or so my subscriber count has jumped considerably and it's just been awesome um, also Victor comics just put out a new video um, it's uh, was shot on a server called Artacraft they it's a Lord of the Rings but um, he did it on the hobbits and uh, it's called uh, little rascals rascal rascal rascalian something like that but um yeah it's it's a really good video so go check them out uh definitely and i hope you guys uh go with over there definitely subscribe to victor and give him show him your support and uh yeah hopefully hopefully you guys will enjoy that very very entertaining uh and he has three other videos as well so watch those as well um but anyway thank you so much for your uh attention and thank you so much for your support and until next time bye bye